Hi there, my name's Rob. I'm one of the ministers here at Andover Baptist Church and today I'd like to continue to talk to you about how my Christian faith has been strengthened through the practice of the Korean martial art of Taekwondo. If you haven't seen my previous series of devotions about the meanings of the colored belts, the different color belts in Taekwondo, and how they have enriched my faith, please feel free to check those out on our YouTube channel as well. By way of introduction to this second series of devotions, allow me to briefly illustrate some of the meaning behind the color belt journey so that we can really begin to understand where the journey of a black belt begins. To do this, I'd like you to picture a white seed. The seed is filled with potential, but will only be realized if it's planted in the right environment and receives all of the input that it needs in order to grow. Now picture it being planted in the earth, putting roots down into the soil like a warm foundation, a place of safety with warm yellow rays of sunlight shining down. And then suddenly it shoots into green life and it begins to grow and to grow and not only emerge from the soil, but stretch towards the blue sky. As it approaches the sun, the heat kind of increases and there's some danger that it, it could get burnt up or set fire to the other plants around it. So you have to be careful, little plant, you're not fully formed yet. This is a helpful illustration and it leads us through the color belt process of growth and development right up to the point where the plant stands tall in the, in the sky, stretching towards the sun. But what lies beyond the sun? A whole universe waiting to be discovered. Once the sun goes down, you can see it, a pitch black canvas of endless discoveries. And here's where the way of the black belt begins, with whole galaxies of knowledge and skills still to be explored by the student who is now equipped to reach for the stars. People often think that obtaining a black belt is the pinnacle of a martial arts journey, but in truth, it's just a new beginning. Like a white belt, a black belt still has so much to learn. The difference is that now the student is equipped and ready to begin learning in earnest. Basic training is over, now the adventure begins. You know, spiritual growth is the same. We're all born with a spirit that, if properly cared for, will grow from strength to strength. However, we need someone to give us a firm foundation so that we can begin our journey of faith. Then we need encouragement and support so that we can begin to grow in our awareness of our own spirituality and faith. We then need someone to point us to the skies, someone to help us look beyond ourselves to the heavens for inspiration. Ultimately, we need to encounter the red-hot passion of God, perfectly demonstrated in the blood Jesus spilt for us, so that we might know the infinite nature of God's love for us and His grace. But that's just a new beginning, the true start of our spiritual life. So much lies ahead for us to experience and to learn about God from that point onward. So many people seem to think that becoming a Christian is a one-time event rather than an ongoing lifelong process that has begun and will be completed, but is not finished yet. And that's a real problem because they're missing out on all of the wonder that lies ahead when they commit their whole life to exploring the wonders of God. They're also limiting their usefulness to the others that are around them who are still exploring faith and have questions that need to be answered, fears that need to be addressed, and role models that they need to lead them to a more foundational understanding of the Christian faith. How do you lead people to keep taking their next steps of faith when you've stopped taking yours? You know, the author of the New Testament book of Hebrews writes to Christians who seem to have forgotten the need to keep maturing as a disciple of Jesus. And this is what he says to them. In Hebrews chapter 5 verses 12 to 14 he says in fact though by this time you ought to be teachers you need someone to teach you the elementary truths of God's Word all over again you need milk not solid food anyone who lives on milk still being an infant is not acquainted with the teaching about righteousness but solid food is for the mature who by constant use have trained themselves to distinguish good from evil you know, in the martial arts world, becoming a black belt means opening doors of opportunity for yourself to keep learning and to keep growing. But it also means embracing the responsibility to help others who are still in the early stages of their martial arts journey and to help them keep progressing. You know, the Christian faith requires the same discipline and commitment of disciples of Jesus. There is an infinite universe of wisdom and knowledge and experience of God 
And my question for those of you who would identify yourselves as disciples of Jesus is quite simply this. Are you committed to keep exploring what you don't understand yet? Connecting with God daily, partnering with God and his church on his mission in the world and leading others closer to him. Are you continually taking your next steps of faith on your faith journey, conscious of the fact that you certainly aren't the finished article yet? None of us are. Do you embrace the way of the black belt, the ethos for the first Christian disciples who encountered Jesus, accepted him as Lord for the rest of their lives, and then continued to serve him and others, spreading his message and church to the four corners of the map? What's your next step on your personal faith journey? And hey, if you're watching this and you aren't sure what to believe yet, let me encourage you, because just by watching this video, you've already taken a next step of faith. You know, if you keep taking small steps like that, if you keep exploring Christianity, I have no doubt that as you seek God, you will find him. I have, and I'll do whatever I can to help you too. Just keep taking those next steps of faith. And one day you might be surprised to find yourself helping others taking theirs. God bless you.